Hey there, it's Fashtas here. I was just doing a bit of an update on some status. I uh, was pottering around a bit on getting monsters to spawn or to do some damage, and I decided I wasn't too happy with their AI, so moved on to a task I had on my list to integrate Opsiv's behavior designer into the kit AI. Um, and it took a bit of a life of its own, so I thought I'd show it a bit off to see if anyone what people think and if anyone would be interested in something like this for themselves so um, this little guy over here in the top the big orc he's controlled by the standard kit AI which is not turned off but this one over here is entirely controlled by the behavior tree AI that's been integrated into Opsif um, to be honest he doesn't really do an awful lot different from the original one um, He'll track the character, move better within position. Um, there's a lot of other functionality integrated in that isn't really used. He will reposition himself when he gets slightly bored. Um, that repositioning code doesn't work all that well. And he will flee and panic and run back to where he came from when too much damage occurs. Um, Repositioning code functions, but there's something wrong with the vector math, so he repositions himself in a really weird place. Uh, this, we look down under the hood at what's going on. Um, we have a fair amount of AI happening. Uh, there's a lot, probably, I think I counted about 30 unique tasks and conditionals added in that support behavior designer and the kit. There's a whole bunch of variables that are supported um, and things like an event system that supports conversations between the monsters. They can ask for help, tell say somebody that they've died, tell the other characters they've been attacked, they're fleeing. Um, in fact I think that's probably a bug that probably wanted to be fleeing um, they can flee, reposition, decide who to attack um, and included in all of this is a uh, extensions to the monster character entity that um, allow messages back and forth to them, decide whether they want to communicate or not remember who attacked them so a monster like a boss monster can be queried as to um, you know, get the highest damage damager from the list of players that have been attacking them um, check to see who the closest is to them, lowest damage, or highest levels, that sort of thing and um, all of this sort of stuff is, is fairly easy to adjust with properties um, your behavior tree is attached to your monster entity got a small variety of properties to change and that's basically it but what it means is the monsters are a little bit more interesting and there's a lot more you can do with them um, at the moment I'm not quite sure how far I'm taking this uh, it's certainly enough for my project once I've expanded the um, functionality but uh, might possibly all wrap it up it, it works perfectly well by just dropping it straight into a standard kit as long as you have both the kit and behavior designer and uh, might look at sort of releasing this to other people if they want it maybe even for money uh, but we'll see how we go on oh, the piece of resistance we've even got our own icons in there hours worth of work well days I don't know, five minutes maybe. Pretty simple. Anyway, that's basically it. Enjoy, we'll talk later.